Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Yes, this is a fellow Cleveland Browns lover. Responding to the question I gave you guys about wide receivers, I said I wanted DK Metcalf. I wasn't saying let's go out and trade DK Metcalf. I was mainly saying, like, let's go get somebody who is actually affordable. Or, like, our main goal this upcoming draft needs to be linebackers and wide receivers. Plain and simple. Linebackers and wide receivers. I want your thoughts on that. That's it. I think Deshaun Watson is going to do great. I think he's going to do great for next year. I want you guys' thoughts. Go Browns. Woof, woof. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Um, Jeff, I, when I look at this, I think the linebacker play would be increased um, significantly if they had better defensive tackle play. I, I, think the, um, I think they need some guys that just eat up linemen in the defensive tackle spot, and they don't have them. Well, without question, the priority, number one priority, is defensive tackle. If you can get some of that handled during the free agent process, um, my dream scenario, Deron Payne from the Washington Commanders, who the Browns rumored to have interest in at the trade deadline this year, um, he would be one. But, yes, yeah, some space eaters, some guys who are, you have the ability to consume and absorb blocking. There's no issues as far as that. That is definitely an ideal. Uh, the linebackers, look, I mean, these guys we're playing right now actually aren't playing that bad. They're giving you everything you have, but you have to keep in mind you're already down to linebackers five, six, seven, and eight, which is just, you know, insane. Nobody's, you know, to have such a purge of injury at one position, it's crazy. The wide receiver room, yeah, I mean, the problem is you're in the same spot here with a bunch of these guys. Anthony Schwartz, to this point of his career, he's an incomplete. Michael Woods, to this point of his career, incomplete. David Bell, incomplete. A name I would watch out for over the next couple of weeks, and he had two receptions on Saturday, is Dalen Baldwin. And reached out to some people, and what it was is when they went over the summer in August, and basically shifted Deshaun to the back of the quarterback room, understanding the time he was going to miss, you know, who did he go in and work with then? You know, he wasn't working with Amari Cooper. He wasn't working with Donovan Peoples-Jones. He was working with the Michael Woodses. He was working with the Dalen Baldwins. Uh, Dalen Baldwin, for, you know, the little that he played on Saturday, he looked impressive. He looked good. Um, he's not a wow athlete. He's not a wow route runner. But every time they throw him the ball, he seems to catch it. And that was the way it was in the summer. So, hey, you need guys like that, too. I'm not saying you're not going to add and look to continue to add to that room. Um, but those are not the priorities on the roster right now that this defensive tackle room is. Anthony Walker, he comes back. Well, no, I mean, that was a big, big guy to get back. Certainly a big, big guy to lose for them. I'm not sure how much his injury, you know, can take from him as he ages in the NFL, but I'm sure that's a player who was productive and a big time leader. That was a really, really difficult loss for them. Now, they, for whatever reason, the Browns have, have given some draft capital to defensive tackle, but they. I don't know if they're looking for the wrong type. If they, they're just, they've missed on that position consistently. I think the thing is, is they hedged their own bets a couple of times. I think they thought Jordan Elliott was going to make a huge jump year two and year three. I think they thought Tommy Togi I was going to make a big jump in year two. Both those picks really, you know, Elliott had the blocked field goal on Saturday. Tommy Togi is not even dressing now. You are starting to see some flashes from Perry on Winfrey. Uh, Perry on Winfrey, you know, is was a had a reputation of just being a guy trying to make a play. Does it work in the NFL? Whatever your assignment is, you have to do your assignment or you're leaving 10 guys out there basically hanging dry and in a bad spot. As he's playing more consistently, as he's understanding that he has to stick to the assignment he is given and the opportunities to make plays will come, that's been impressive. But I I will be stunned if the top three agent priority for the Browns this year is not at the defensive tackle position. They can't wait. They can't guess. They can't hope. They need 100% proven commodity.